all right, everyone needs a gimmick, right? You need something that's going to go viral and get you views. Shout outs to Cardboard Cowboy still cracking out after all these years. But today in this video, we're going to talk about all the effects that are possible with Expert Broadcaster. All right, first up, the kind of foundation for the whole effect system is in the source menu. So any source, you right click on it and you have a source menu and there's some tabs that are pretty much universal between all the sources. The first is the color tab. So this is where you affect things like brightness, saturation, contrast. And then you can also enable things like chroma key and chroma key is not just red, white, and blue. You can actually use a color key to take out specific colors. Next is the layout tab. This is where you position things, crop, rotate. You can actually even 3D rotate and you can apply this crazy 360 projection effect that you can control with your mouse and make it spin all around. And then there's the straight up effects tab. Now in the effects tab, you have things like masking. This is basically creating cutouts of your source. It could be like a circle, there's preset cutouts, or it can be a custom file that you upload like for crazy designs. And then there's things like source transitions. So source transitions are effects or transitions you can apply if you're disabling or enabling a source, if you're coming in or out of a scene. And then the last thing is filters. So filters, you can add another overlay on top of your source. So it could be like black and white or a sepia tone or even uploading your own custom LUT. And it's important to mess around with these and test these out. So these different source parameters and settings interact directly with what is known as presets. So presets, you can have multiple presets per scene. And this basically means that if you change some parameters, say on the layout page on preset one, and then on preset two, you change that layout again, there's gonna be a transition that you can set the time of between these two things. So pretty much like if you want this to move from below to top as a preset transition, you just create two different presets and change the layout settings. And you can see different variations here, the color page, different presets can do different stuff. Then you can combine these with transitions. So there's different types of transitions. There's the pre-made scene transitions that are already there. And then there's the custom stinger transitions. This is basically like a video that you can transition between on different scenes. And then there's the luma transitions, which transitions your scenes based on the light and dark parts of each scene. So it's best to think of XSplit as a type of Photoshop in motion in the sense that it's really just layers that you stack up on each other to create effects. So you can do things like you can actually screen capture the XSplit window and add that as a source on top of itself for some crazy trippy effects. Or you can do things like use VCam to create a green screen of yourself, record footage of yourself and put you on top of the footage of yourself to make it look like you're talking to yourself. It's really only limited by your imagination, but combining scene transitions and preset animations and just different sources layered together, this is how you basically create the foundation of the Xbox engine. But there's one more thing you can add on top of this. Now macros add probably the final layer of complexity to this. So you can check out our video about all the different things you can do with macros. But if you're planning a complex effect shot, basically a trigger is gonna start a series of other events that are gonna create this crazy effect that's gonna happen. You do it with macros. So it can be like a hot key or at a specific time or at a specific interval. And then it's gonna trigger different things. Like it's gonna trigger transitioning to a scene, then wait, then go into another preset and popping up all these different sources and effects. Macros are what is really gonna send your effects capabilities, like basically infinite possibilities. So definitely experiment with them, try them out. You can export macros and share them. Maybe you have a friend that has like a crazy effects mine. They build the effect, send it to you, but pretty much presets, macros, and source settings allow you to do really crazy nut stuff with Xplit Broadcaster and make sure to share it, share it with us in the comments, like share it with us on social media so we can share it with the world because it's really crazy what some of people using Xplit Broadcaster have done using all these different elements. So to tie this all together, I'm gonna actually press a hotkey here to show you this macro with presets that I've created just as an example. But if you have any examples and things that you've done, again, let us know in the comments, share with us, ask us about some of the effects you have in your mind and maybe we can help you figure it out. Let us know. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for joining us again in the lab. Give a like if this was helpful and share and subscribe this video for anyone that you think might be trying to do some cool stuff for their stream or for their recordings. Thanks again for watching.